in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the monster man. Hey, babies, this is the Wolfman coming at ya. We got a ghoulish forecast this Halloween. There's a full moon out, but you won't see it because we're going to have rain, rain, and more rain, baby. So drive carefully if you're out there on the road and don't drink too much because the night you've seen may be mine. Are you sure we aren't lost? I know where I'm going. Where are the directions Debbie gave you? Calm down, Mary. We're going to get to the party in plenty of time. Geez, you don't sound very psyched. Psyched? For once, I'd like to go to a party that didn't have plastic pumpkins, fruit punch, and lame music. I mean, just once, I'd like to go to a howling party that rocks. Are you sure we aren't lost? It's dead. What are we gonna do? Well, look, there's a house with the light on. I don't like it here at all. Yeah, well, we're just gonna use their phone. Call Triple A. We'll be on our way in no time. Probably just a dog. Yeah, sure. Just a big wolf-like dog. Come on, let's hurry. That's my girlfriend. So it is. <laughs> um, our car broke down just outside your gate. We were wondering if we could please use your phone. Uh, go away. Hey, pal, it's pouring outside. Our car's broken. We just need to use your phone for two minutes. Yeah, I have a calling card. We don't have a phone. Uh, there's no one here, okay? Hands play. It's play. Go away. Evil. I can't concentrate with all that noise. Just have them bring the body, you fool. Nobody here, huh? It's just a couple of Jehovah's Witnesses, Master. <laughs> yes, I'm as happy as I could possibly be. <laughs> now, for your own sake, go away while well, there's still time. What do we have here? Orphans of the storm? Uh, our car broke down and we just need to use your phone. What a grave situation. <laughs> I'm Dr. Victor Frankenstein. Oh, Dr. Frankenstein. Of the uh, Transylvania Frankensteins? No, the Hyannisport Frankenstein. And this human refuse is my assistant, Igor. Well, I'm Scott. You can call me Romeo. And, uh, this is my girlfriend, Mary. Uh, Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. How charming. Please enter. And excuse the mess. We're remodeling. Vidor, I must hand it to you this time. They're perfect. Oh, Master, they still have a pulse. Don't bother me with details. The night is young. Whoa. We do have a few guests staying with us. Helping me my research. Hello, Triple A. <laughs> Dr. Victor Frankenstein here. Oh, 
I am at port. A car has broken down just outside our gate. Yes, again. Could... Hello? Hello? Oh dear, we seem to have been disconnected. C'est la guerre. The storm must have blown down all of the phone lines. I don't like it here. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I'm sorry we couldn't have been of more help, but as you can see, the phone is... dead. <laughs> Flag someone down. Have fun with your research. Yeah, and don't do anything you regret in the morning. What was that? Master, master, the bridge has washed out. It's gone. Oh no. Not again. I'm sorry, the bridge is out. You'll have to spend the night. I'm sorry, the bridge is out. You'll have to spend the night. No ferry, no other route. No planes, no trains, no flights. You're welcome to stay here as long as you please. And we'll find a way to put your mind at ease. Sorry, the bridge is out. It's too late to take flight. Oh, Mary, I've dreamed about someone like you each night. I told you to escape while you could. I only wish that somehow you would. If I knew you were coming, I would have looked good. I'm so glad you spent the a bad guy. Why hurry? The bridge is out and struggle as you might. Our plans for you will soon be revealed. But tender bites and you'll have to yield. Relax, enjoy it, your fate has been sealed. Cause you'll have to spend the night. You'll have to spend the night. You'll have to spend the night. On the night like this, why don't you do something new? Spend the night. You heard him. The bridge is out. Nothing bad's gonna happen to us. Well, that's easy for you to say. You've got three friends over there who you haven't taken your eyes off of. Oh, please. They mean nothing to me. Except for that one on the end there. Scott. Huh? huh? Mary, these guys may be a little eccentric. I mean, but hey, it's Halloween. Besides, I've got a feeling this is the safest place we could possibly be. Maybe you're right. Doctor, it's happening! 
happening again? What is so important? It's a full moon. I can feel myself changing. I'm turning into an animal. I am not an animal. I am a human being. Down, boy. Could we discuss this later? As you can see, I'm busy. Doctor, you must help me. Sorry, no can do. Pre-existing condition. What pre-existing condition? Your son is a werewolf. We prefer caninally challenged. You promised you'd help. Here, give him this chew stick and keep him off the rug. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Sorry about that. A doctor's work is never done. Where'd you get the old bag? She was referred by an associate. Now, what is your poison? Just some punch for me. I'll make that too. Master, what about the experiment? Not now, Igor. I'm thinking. What about the experiment? I know. We could slip them some slumber powder. I've got it. We'll slip them some slumber powder, and they'll sleep soundly through the night. That's brilliant, Master. Why didn't I think of that? Because you are an idiot. Now go and prepare the guest chambers. Yes, Master. Shut up. Call it woman's intuition. Call it what you like, but something strange is going on here. Now look what you've made me do. You're always sneaking up on people. Dr. Frankenstein, the record that you make during the day is enough to wake the dead. If you don't like it here, why don't you go back home? Perhaps someday I will return to my beloved Transylvania. Transylvania, where the sun never shines and everything is barren. Transylvania, where the words, you suck, are a compliment. Transylvania! Enough already. I get the picture. All right. But before I go, I must drink the blood of a virgin. That's the trouble with Transylvania. Critical shortage of virgins. You should never have let Madonna move in. Well, she had an unqualifying lord. Now, if you'll excuse me, I see someone I would like to get to know. No, Vladimir. I have plans for those two. If you interfere too soon, all of my years of research will have been in vain. No pun intended. Too bad. All right. I promise. I will not interfere. Scout's honor. <laughs> like I was a scout. <laughs> Good evening. I am Count Dracula. What is your name? I'm Mary. I'm Scott. Don't worry. Another century or two, that look will be back. It's nice to meet you. The pleasure is all yours. You know, your clothes are a wee bit dowdy. But you've got fabulous bone structure. Look who died and thinks he's Calvin Klein. Exactly. Now, if you'll allow me to make a few fashion suggestions, I am sure that we can make you so delicious, you'll be fighting them off with a stick. Look at Dracula making a fool of himself over the girl. She's mine. Igor, show the couple to their quarters. Be my pleasure, master. This way to your rooms. Rooms? Well, you're not married, are you? No. Well, not yet. Then it'll have to be rules. House rules, you know. You 
young man will be in the blue room. Nobody slept in here since the old master passed on to the great beyond. Dr. Frankenstein's father died in this very bed. How long ago was that? Oh, about 2.30. I'll be back to get you when dinner's ready. Don't worry, Mary. Wait right down the hall if you need anything. Yeah. Do you love him? Love's a pretty strong word. I would know. I mean, what woman would love a man with a twisted body like mine? Claudia Schiffer? Julia Roberts. Soon Yi. But it doesn't matter what a man looks like. It's what's inside that counts. A big, bulbous, pus-filled calcium deposit counts? Uh, that's what I thought. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure any woman that got to know the real you wouldn't even notice your, um... Hemp. No, thanks. When women look at me, they... they get repulsed. Disgusted. Frightened. You can stop me any time here. Oh, you don't frighten me. I don't? I think you're cute. I am? Sure you are. It's all in your attitude. You can be anything you choose, have anything you want. Anything? Anything. Play your hunch. Ah. Don't delay. Oh. You'll get over that hump one day. Ah. Now's your chance. Go and try. Good luck, good night, goodbye. Wait a minute. Play your hunch. Play with my what? Play it cool. <laughs> Quit staring and try not to drool. Stick out that noble chin. Face hair so masculine. Thank you. What do you know? Gotta go. What a sin. Hey, wait. Just get out there and give it that knockout punch. <laughs> play your hunch. Mm, play my hunch. Oh, and I think of all the great hunchbacks in history. Quasimodo, Richard III, Richard Nixon. They never let a little hump get in their way. Got a hunch. It's my day. Looks like everything's going my way. Starting here, starting now. They'll applaud as I'm taking my bow. That feels good. Got a hunch. I can swing. It's true, you can do anything. Right on cue, watch these moves. Piece of kick. I can lose. It's a short thing. Of course, spread the news. Opportunities knocking. Hey! <laughs> I'm a regular freight of stairs. Reach for the top end. Girls, I'll be right back. And then play on, play on, play on. Play a hunch, play a hunch, play a hunch, play a hunch, play a hunch. Move on, McDonald Hump. Down, please. He's loose again, you gnarly little gnome. 
I warned you what I'd do if you let him get away. Does the name Kevorkian mean anything to you? Sorry, master. Sorry, master. Hair's all wet. Must have been outside. He'll catch his death. <gasps> Again. My poor, empty-headed baby boy. If only he had a brain. Romeo has a brain? Maybe we could take his brain and put it into the monster's body. <laughs> Simple, stupid Igor. Let me do the thinking. I've got it. Romero has a brain. But oh, Romeo. Whatever. He has a brain and I want it. I'll transfer the boy's brain into the body of my creation. At last, you'll be complete. <laughs> What about the girl? That would never work. He has enough of an identity problem as it is. No, Master. The girl, the girl, can I have her, please? Pretty please? You want the girl? Igor, this is a side of you I've never seen before. The sight of me I've never even seen before. <laughs> then she's yours. <laughs> In fact, I'll do even better than that. I'll transfer the boy's brain into the body of my creation. And your brain into the body of the boy. And the monster's brain into your body. A medical round robin. There's no real reason to do it. But a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Thank you, Master. Stop groveling. Come to the laboratory. Yes. Frankenstein, I presume. Hathaway, what brings you this away? The keeper of the rock, the protector of the road, holier than whole. In his infinite wisdom, he has ordained that this is the best time to go into the garden and bring back the tanner leaves. What did he just say? Elvis has entered the building. tonight I don't have time for these theatrics you accuse the king of theatrics you have angered the great one you have violated the seven seals of the jackal including Latoya just keep him out of sight we have guests he mustn't see guests not a young couple whose car broke down are they still wet behind the ears? You'd need a speedo. Perfecto mundo. Tonight we must pay tribute to Mondo Ra. Cliff notes, please. You need to sacrifice a virgin. Out of the question, completely out of the question, these guests are taken. Now, as you can see, we have work to do. I'll see you at dinner. Oh, and uh, lose the king. He sticks out like a sore thumb. Huh? Hey! Let me out of here! 
Scott? Mary? Scott, my door's locked from the outside. Mine too. Are you all right? No, Scott, I'm scared. Don't be. I'll protect you. Listen, Mary, I've been doing some thinking, and well, I'm really glad we found each other. I don't know what I'd do without you. On a night like this, I wonder, do you know I care? On a night like this, I whisper a little prayer. Wish you were here. Wish I was there. On a night like this. Before you go any further, there's something I have to tell you. I have some skeletons in my closet. We all did. I once let my math teacher, Mr. Higgins, French kiss me. I was failing and I needed a grade. But it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's not like I enjoyed it. No, Scott, I mean, literally, I have skeletons in my closet. Bones, a skull, the works. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, I knew that's what you meant. Listen, maybe you're right. Maybe we ought to try to leave and get back to the car. When will we have a chance? They've got us trapped. That's a good question. When? After dinner? After dinner. Shh, there's somebody out in the hallway. I told you, Dr. Frankenstein, she is all mine. Who's all yours, my dear? Oh, uh, no, Natasha, I'm busy. Hmm. Is he trying to cheat on me again? Nonsense! I've been watching you. I know that there's some young, pure girl in that bedroom. If that is true, may I be forced to shop exclusively on QVC? Hmm. Who's there? Hmm. Hope she likes cubic zirconium. If I find red lipstick on your collar one more time, I'm going to call for my lawyer. He's such a bloodsucker. Natasha! Honey, you should know by now, I have certain appetites that I must quench. Certain uncontrollable urges that I must meet. But when I'm with all those other girls, when I'm with all those other young, sexy, prepubescent, long-legged girls, when I'm with all those other bubbly, bouncy, high cheekbone, fresh vein, perky buttocks girls, I'm always thinking about you. Oh, Vladdy, you say the sweetest things. The moon is full tonight. Are we going out? Uh, there's been a change of plans. I knew it! 
never go out anymore. We always eat in. I... Natasha, baby cakes, bad muffin. Oh. Before this night is through, we both will be satisfied. Cross my heart and hope oh. to live. We're having Scott and Mary for dinner. Ooh. Ooh. That's more uh, like Na it. Natasha, stop being so vulgar. Why are you always snapping at me? You're not your old self. You're not even your old, old, old self. What's eating you, Vladdy? Woke up this evening feeling so low. I should have felt good. It's a full moon, you know. A werewolf was howling, my favorite song. Still, I felt depressed. Tell us what's wrong. I got those all eternity blues. Those blues you never can lose. I've got everything that I desire. I should be a satisfied vampire. After all, I'm the Count they adore. Still nothing stirs my blood anymore. I've got those old infinity, immortality, all eternity blues. It's no mystery. Under 5,000 years, you're tired of me. I tried to be patient, but now I see red. You're screw with that true, and you'll wish you were dead. Why not you so hungry to stay? Centuries, and she's still tightening the screws. Is there a bit more than he could chew? The night that he took the bite out of you. Oh, that's true. I've made my own bed. Can't even say I'd be better off dead. I've got those old infinity, immortality, all eternity blues. I've got those old. Immortality Can't get rid of me, Blues I do We got those old infinity Immortality All eternity Blues My sweet likes me. She really likes me. Sorry. It, uh, slipped. The good doctor requests your presence downstairs for some horse devourers. Oh, you mean hors d'oeuvres. You've never met the cook. everybody downstairs for hors d'oeuvres and then after that dinner and then after that you know boy she's an easy date a little wine a little dinner and then you know we're in love <laughs> How lovely you look, my dear. <laughs> Permit me to introduce to you my wife. She is also a count, but she spells it differently. Countess Natasha. You can call me nasty. <laughs> Pig in a blanket? Wimp in a cape. Death breath. <sighs> That's in the belfry. Uh, I don't complain when your relatives visit. <laughs> Tch. 
dear, you look so beautiful. Let me see your hand. Wonderful. It's not too late. Come here, my boy. Tell me a little about yourself. Do you attend a university? Oh, well, yeah, I do. How are your grades? I'm on the dean's list. Wonderful. Your major? Physics. Minor in economics. Fantastic. Your book smart. What is your hat size? Seven and five eighths. Thank you, God. My Wolf is very intelligent and sensitive. He never forgets my birthday. Very thoughtful, too. Yes. But he needs you. Mother. Me? Yes. He's going through a phase, like puberty, only the beard is heavier. Mother. Well, now, let me read your palm. Wolfie, be a good boy and leave Mother alone so that she can talk to this nice young lady. Scram! Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> He's so obedient, my Wolfie. Now, where were we? Ah. I see a new man in your life. You see your love line, it splits right here. I see a bearded man with a hairy back and multiple personalities. You see me dating Robin Williams? <laughs> no, my dear. I see you dating. Oh, well, in all my years of socializing, scandalizing, and salmonizing, I've never seen a fair damsel as delicious, yum yum, as you. Hathaway, we're busy. Indubitably, but never too busy to make a new acquaintance. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hathaway. Manager, promoter extraordinaire. My latest client, currently under wraps, will be known one day as the King of Kings, and I shall be happy to make the introduction. Fear talking. And I saw her first. I tell you, she's mine. And I told you the only way I can help you is to blend her with that hair. Him, I can't do anything. Hey, Hathaway. Hey, Men are such dogs. You can say that again. Men are such dogs. I hope it clears up. Yeah, me too. Oh, the sky. Yes. Soon the moon will be out. <laughs> Look at my mother. She's relentless. All mothers are like that. No, Norman Bates's mother's like that. <laughs> that was funny. Mm -hmm. We were never properly introduced. I'm Mary. Wolfgang, forgive me if I don't shake your hand, but I've got a very delicate skin condition. Eczema? More like Chia Pet. Well, have you ever thought about a good depilatory? Maybe a Floby? It wouldn't work. Anyway, my mother thinks that all I need is a girlfriend. Most women don't tend to find me very attractive. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure there are plenty of women that would fall in love with you. Really? Do you believe in puppy love? I didn't think so. Oh, I'm sorry. It, love is just a touchy subject right now. You don't understand. I'm not like other... <laughs> Then I'm. I'm a. I'm different. I have urges that I. Eagle. After dinner, I shall prepare the toast. That's when I want you to give our two guests. They're special goblets. They are prepared to make them too sleepy to fend off the inevitable. A new Disney theme park? No, you ugly little toad. 
my master plan. One sip from the silver goblets, and they shall become sleepy. Their minds and hearts will be mine. Now, go and prepare the lamb blood red rare. You know how picky Dracula is. Yes, master. Oh, shut up. And so you see, my friends, I do believe that successful brain transplants are not some fantasy for a distant future, but can be done soon. I plan to lead the vanguard of scientific research. Think of it. It will increase mankind's lifespan in quantum leaps. And I, I will finally take my place among the world's great physicians. Dr. Pasteur, Dr. Salk, Dr. Cosby. No, thank you, Igor. I don't want wine tonight. I want a Virgin Mary. Mother. Life to me is like a hamburger. To make it really good, you need hot buns, lots of fixings, and grade A meat. <laughs> you smell divine. <laughs> it's just the garlic and the rice. Garlic! I, I think life is an ongoing education. We should always be expanding our minds. That's my boy. Ah. Allow me to give you this small gift of my admiration for your charm and exquisiosity. Thank you. You're giving her a vial of sweat. It goes for $9.95 at Graceland. I'll cherish it. So, uh, Doc, how far into the future do you see the practical applications of your work? My boy, the future is tonight. It's not his fault. It's his fault. If Dr. Frankenstein would get his head out of the clouds long enough to treat my Wolfie, he wouldn't be such a social pariah. I did promise to heal the boy, but as we all know, medicine isn't exactly foolproof. You yourself are Exhibit A. Aren't you overdue for a high colonic? Ah, blow it out, your... Ask me what time it is. What time is it? It's toast time. <laughs> Special goblets for special guests. Ladies and gentlemen, creatures of the night, let us raise our glasses and toast the lovely accident that brought these two charming children so helplessly to our door. May you stay here with us forever, if only in spirit. So tell me, Doc, when they finally do award you with the Nobel Prize, what are you going to say in front of the Academy? What will I say? What will I say? I'll say. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the, mash. He did the monster, mash. monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. He did the, mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abodes To get 
motor jolt from my electrodes. They did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. They did the monster mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman. Dracula and his son. The scene was rocking all the digging sounds. He got on chains back by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the monster man. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. They played the monster man. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the monster mash. It's now the monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the monster man. Now everything's cool, Drax's a part of the band, and my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them more is sent you. Then you can monster mash and do my graveyard smash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can monster mash. I don't know, Barry. I mean, the bridge is still out, and suddenly I feel kind of tired. I think we should sit down until morning. I think you just like that Natasha character. She had her paws all over you. You, you're the one to talk. Count, what's his name? Practically chewed your food for you. Well, at least he was showing interest. He asked all about my dreams, my hobbies, my blood type. You never even looked at me. He asked you about your blood type? He has a friend that needs a transfusion. A likely story. What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't pry you loose from all those guys if I had a crowbar. You were making a fool of yourself. <laughs> sometimes you're impossible. Yeah? And sometimes you are unbelievable. I never want to speak to you again. Well, don't worry, because after tonight, you never will. the matter? He's impossible. Excuse me. Suddenly I feel lightheaded. Well, you can rest your head on my shoulders. All three of them. I think I have to... Go to the little girl's room? No. Throw up? No. Faint? Yeah, that's it. Faint. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. Igor, quickly and quietly take her to her room. I'll be downstairs. Yes, Master. Shut up. There, there. Soon you'll be able to express your deepest and most complex thoughts. Rose. If there's anything you need, my sweet, just whistle. You know how to whistle? Just put your fingers in your mouth and blow. <whistles> Beat it, Wolfie! Fingers and mouth. We'll work on it. <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, she loves me. 
she doesn't love me. She loves me. She doesn't love me. You love me. Look at her. A figure of beauty. Arise, my precious darling. Wake up. Mary? Keanu. It's a Hawaiian name, isn't it? Hey, gorgeous. Rise and shine. No, Cindy. I think the mall is cute. It's not Cindy. It's Natasha. And which mole do you like? So <gasps> What are you doing here? Don't pretend you didn't feel that strange electricity between us at dinner. I thought that was just static cling. No. It was an overwhelming power drawing us together. I had to find you. To hold you, to touch you, to kiss you. I've got a girlfriend. Oh, don't be naive. You're not married yet. And what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Toy land, toy land, little girl and boy land. Ah, yes. Arise, wake up and meet your destiny. <gasps> Don't waste the moment. Take me in your arms. Hold me. Crush me. Kiss me. What about your husband? You can kiss him later. Uh, wait, Natasha, this is all just happening too fast. I'm sorry, Natasha. I, I can't do it. M my heart belongs to another woman. I will never be unfaithful to her. Not in a thousand years. But a drop in the bucket, you foolish boy. <laughs> There's one thing I hate in the morning more than morning, it's morning breath. Oh, we get a problem here. I'm sorry. You were right. I was being a jerk at dinner. But I love you. I couldn't even look at another girl. You're the only one that ever meant anything to me. You know how I used to brag about my exploits with other girls? They were lies. All lies. The truth is, I'm a virgin. I'm saving myself for marriage. And, Mary, I want to marry you. Mary, I'm coming over there, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. Come into the room, dear boy. The king awaits. Mary? Hours will be an eternity of treasures. Evening filled with romance and pleasure. <laughs> Don't believe him. He'll slip a ring on your finger and after six months you'll be barefoot in the coffin while he's out cavorting about. Natasha, my sweet. Just because you struck out with the boy doesn't mean you have to fill her mind with bad thoughts. She is capable of making decisions on her own. Aren't you? Yes, master. Hmm. Soon, you will become my wife. Yes, master. <laughs> An ivory girl, if I've ever seen one. He's not as bad as all that. Sometimes when he wants, he can be a real gentleman. Of course, you have to get used to his, his little habits and the way he files his teeth. <laughs> And sometimes he forgets to put the plasma back in the refrigerator. But 
There are worse things than being a bride of Dracula. Lie still, my creation. Tonight will change everything. Master, why is tonight different than all other nights? And all this time I thought you were Unitarian. Igor, tonight is the night that all the years of toil and ridicule pay off. You're giving your own talk show? No, you insipid cretin. I'm getting the boy's brain. But first, we must get the boy. Come. Uh -oh. He's gone. The boy has escaped. Igor, you bumbling buffoon. Maybe the boy is searching for the girl. <laughs> Maybe Dracula came into the room and put her under a trance. The boy opened his heart up to her and upon entering the room found it to be empty. Yes. Maybe the boy is searching for the girl. Maybe. Just when I think you can't get any more idiotic, you do. What a harebrained plot. Yes, Master. Sorry for thinking. You don't get paid to think. Come to think of it, I don't get paid at all. There you go again. Thinking. Come, you inbred ignoramus. <laughs> We've searched in the tower, we've searched in the dungeon, we've searched out by the moat. Maybe we've searched too much. Where could he be? I love this house. What have you done with her? There, there my boy, we've done nothing with Mary. Where is she? Where is my defiant, proud Mary? Who knows? Maybe she left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. Do, 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 do. May I? Please. We don't know where Mary is. Now give me that candlestick and I'll explain everything. Why should I? Because I'm giving you my word. And a man has nothing, if not his word. Okay, I trust you. Scott, you've had a terrible trauma. I have? When? Now. So I have nothing. I can live with that. Good. Then you carry him. I'm just kidding, just kidding. So this is how it is. Dr. Frankenstein has no time to help my Wolfie, but he has time to play Dr. Monsieur. Well, if he's going to play Dr. Vassilio, it's going to be this my Wolfie. Now, go. Flee. You're free to go. Do I hear the ice cream man? I do. He's outside, and he has popsicles. Ice cream. Oh, oh, that's not necessary. Good humor. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Bussy, come to your mother. Bussy? Bussy, where'd you run off to? Bussy? Is this the way you treat me after all I've done for you? Is this the way that you repay me? Break your mother's heart in two. Who gets a monster for a son? Me? What did I ever do? Oh, the things a mother goes through. I gave you too much love and tenderness when you were just a child. I let you kill each little thing you wanted every time you smiled. I'm the last one to complain, but son, you were a little wild. Oh, the things a mother I wanted you to be a doctor. I knew that nothing else would do. I sent you to Johns Hopkins to study, and they wound up studying you. Now 
I don't mean to be so bitter, but you're really quite a hound. Find yourself a mate, have a litter, settle down. If the moon comes out, don't squeal. She's your missus, not your meal. The things a mother goes through. Why does this strange change happen to you? Why must you howl and growl and whine? Okay, your father was available. I didn't know it at the time. Oh, you sleep with a dog, you get fleas. Now every time the moon is full, I see you get the itch. I see your teeth come out, your hair grow long, your nostrils start to twitch. You're so There's probably a logical explanation. There is? Yes. Perhaps I didn't tie him down tightly enough. Perhaps. Perhaps I bit off more than I could chew. Maybe just a bit. Maybe I let him escape. Maybe you did. No! It was you, you grisly little gargoyle. We must find him now. Come. <laughs> Not in here, Igor. Check the east wing. I'll try the moors. Ooh. What have we here? Hmm? You know, you should have jumped on me when you had the chance. Now look at the jam you're in. I should just leave you here. I'd be within my rights as a vamp. <laughs> well, it's built. I'm just such a softy. Oh, get me out of here, please, please get me out of here. I'm going out of my mind. You know about the doctor's plans, then? Natasha. Nasty. <laughs> I'm really sorry about before. Honest, I am. But I, I couldn't have been untrue to Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, you won't need to worry about her much longer. Why? What happened? Tell me. Well, let's just say she's going a little bats about now. <laughs> let me out. Please, please let me out. I'll do anything. Anything? Anything. Oh, it's all right. Oh, relax, lover boy. Not interested in you any longer. You're not? Mm -mm. Well, what do you want? I want you to take your girlfriend away from my Vladimir, far, far away. No problem. Now, she's in the belfry, so hurry up. Thanks. <sighs> well, in the words of Hillary Clinton, he may be a lout and a womanizer, but it's all I've got. It's important, and I got big connections over at the Transylvania Holiday Inn. I can book y'all in there in the pump room. I'll call it an evening with the Draculettes. I wanted to do 
do that. Yeah. What do you think, you're my shine now, Randy? Yeah. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. I'm... Not now. This could be for the Oscar. Or at least a People's Choice Award. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the important thing is, is that I found you. Where were you? What? Okay, two words. Second word, sounds like. Catch? Sounds like catch. Catch, hatch, patch, match, match. You were playing with a match? You know better than to play with fire. It wasn't that. Okay, it wasn't that. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll try something else. Okay. Two words. Second word. Sounds like. Spastic. Plastic. Chapstick. You were in the garden making out with Susie Chapstick? Oh. There's something to this no ask, no tell thing. <laughs> okay, okay, it wasn't that. Oh. Okay, okay. Yes, two words, second word sounds like. Hey, Sparky. Jack Nicholson? Oh. Cuckoo's Nest? Oh. Chinatown? Oh. Iron oh. Weed? Wolf! Oh. You're playing fetch with Wolfie. <laughs> That's very good. You know, he is a monster's best friend. Okay, listen. We're gonna have to get you downstairs and get you a brain. You can't go through this again. Barry! Oh, thank heavens you're safe. I am so sorry. I can't possibly live without you. Please forgive me. Yes, Master. I found him! Not now, you twisted torment. Twit. The boy has escaped. <laughs> He's got her under his spell. Yes, Master. Do you think I'm the Master? Dance like a chicken. Whoa. Okay, um, do the swim. Breaststroke. Backstroke. Go under. Whoa. She'll do anything I say. We're getting out of here, and we're getting out of here right now. Now it's worse than we thought. Dracula wants to make the girl his own. Hathaway wants the boy for his mummy. And Wolfie has fleas. Hathaway I can control. And Wolfie, the night of the full moon will soon be over. But Dracula, <clears throat> I must put him out for the count. Now here's my plan. We'll set the clocks back one hour. You know what happens to him if he's not in his coffin by Von Ra. Raisin it. Exactly. He'll shrivel up like yesterday's fruit. Stay put, my creature. We must find the boy. Mary! Mary! Mary? Just a few more steps. You haven't seen them recently. Going somewhere? Stay away from us! It's no use. You're mine. <laughs> 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 
You'll never get away with this. That's what they told Teddy Kennedy. We're taking you for a ride in Elisa Marie. Hathaway, you can have the body in due time. I love him for his mind. Perhaps the gods, in their infinite wisdom, will set forth the centrifuge of enlightenment. And perhaps you'll make sense just one time. We're taking the boy over my dead body. Oh, that can be arranged. Let's they shouldn't be fighting. Rumble. Let's let bygones be bygones. Bygones, bygones? Friends? 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 King? Say. Huh. Huh. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, wait a minute. I may be from Hollywood, but I'm not that type of guy. I'm not that type of guy. Well, that about wraps that up. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Soon you will no longer be the brainless, clueless, self-involved airhead you are today. <laughs> brainless. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Igor, it's time. It's time, right? Time to become my wife. Stop. She's mine. The girl is mine. She's mine. The doggone girl is mine. Look who thinks he's Michael Jackson. Igor, stay out of my way. Or feel the powers of my wrath. Igor, stop that nonsense and prepare the operation. But... Do as I say, you incompetent imbecile. Time is running short. Short. Time is running short. <laughs> hey, Count, what's your favorite book? The bridges of Madison County. And I don't know why. Really? Mine's the sun also rises. You should read it sometime. <laughs> oh, Vladdy, there you are. What are you doing still up? What do you mean, woman? We have an hour before sunrise. Oh, no, Vladdy. The day is breaking. The sun is almost up. Sorry, Vlad. Sunshine talks. Suckers, what? Oh! Natasha, you have saved my life again. What would I do without you? <laughs> and remember, when I am with all those other girls, when I am with all those other sexy, bouncing, bubbly, lovely, sparky buttocks, girls, I'm always thinking about you. Igor, prepare the operation. At last, my time has come. My vision will be realized. My creation will have a mind of his own, even if it is someone else's. The culmination of a lifetime's work. When I put this helmet on my creature, when you put that helmet on the boy, when we lower the lever, their brains will be switched. Their destinies forever changed. The monster will be human. The boy will be the simp. <laughs> Put the helmet on the boy and lower the lever. Um, Master, I can't remember how it fits. We've been through this a thousand times, you absent minded insect. Yes, but I'm not very bright, remember? Refresh my memory. Like this. Bolts forward. Like this? That's it, you moron. That's it for you, too. You idiot! 
What have you done? Who's the idiot now, you Danny DeVito-looking humpback? Know it all? Quick, before it's too late, let's switch back. Not on your life. I feel like a new man. Enough, Igor. A joke's a joke. I'm Dr. Victor Frankenstein. Not anymore. <laughs> Master. Oh, shut up. Master. Please. Scott! Mary! Oh, thank God you're okay. What happened? Why am I dressed in these clothes? Where are we? Honey, you don't want to know. Mary, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. Mother, get off my back. Please, let me be my own person. You gave me such a scare last night. Mm. Oh, come on. Let me get you something to eat. Mother. Next year, we'll go to Debbie's party. Yeah, and I'll drive. Surrounded by idiots. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the, mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to get a jolt from my electrodes. They did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. They did the monster mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocky, all the digging sounds. He got on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the monster man. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. They played the monster man. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the monster man. It's a graveyard smash. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the monster man. Now everything's cool, Drax's a part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them all this in you. Then you can monster mash. And do my graveyard smash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can monster mash. Smash! Mm. Ooh! Easy, Gore. You impetuous young boy. Smash! Mm.
Change